Harris Burger. Actually, this is, am I on here? Maybe. This is making me feel like we should have done this, like to tell the truth. Fine. <laughs> Fine. We may yet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I was invited to write one of the stories for the collection. I actually didn't know the book. That's what you say. <laughs> I didn't know the book before, The Mysteries, but I went immediately and got it and began paging through and imagining which story I would like to write about and later talked to a couple of the other authors, all of whom agreed that we either wanted The Floating Nun or we wanted The Thing Under the Rug, which is John oh, Cheska's yes. story. <laughs> well, when I um, was actually, you know, got the details of it, it turned out that um, they had um, honored me by being one of the last to be invited. <laughs> no, no, so. you were first, really. Uh, wasn't she, Chris? Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had a choice of just two pictures. There were only two pictures left that had not yet been, you know, claimed by another author. And I looked at both of them, and my mind was a complete blank for both. Like zero, nothing, nothing was coming at all. Um, and and the. Margaret Rainbow, the editor, kindly gave me an extra few days, you know, saying, you know, she'd like to know which one. And I was like, I still, I got nothing, I got nothing. Um, and that, that um, Chris Van Allsburg was going to take whichever story was, was the orphan, was the last one. Boldly. You know, so. Boldly take the one. Boldly, there. yes, yes, bravely. Intentionally. Yes. So, no man has ever gone before. Yes. <laughs> So uh, it was sort of like, you know, put them up on the wall and got a dart, you know, <laughs> almost. It's a great um, picture, though. Here, let me show this around. This is not like an orphan picture. What's your, what's There's your a perfectly title? good harp. It is called the harp. There is a stream with a harp next to it on a rock. There's a splash ripple besides the harp. And in the very deep background, there's a boy and a dog. And the caption is, so it's true, he thought. It's really true which was a very nice caption because it was very open. Um, but I uh, ended up choosing that one because I had written a story before. The, the picture that was left over was called Oscar and Alphonse, which is a girl with two caterpillars in her hand. And I had written an entire book called Project Mulberry about caterpillars. And I have a very serious worm phobia. I mean, I'm serious. I, I can't even look at them. And I thought I was try I had tried to get over my worm phobia by writing Project Mulberry, which is about worms, and it did not work. I still have a worm phobia, and I just thought I can't do it again. I can't write about worms again. So that's why I ended up picking the harp, even at that though at that point I still had no idea for a story. And that's how Chris ended up um, doing Oscar and Alphonse, which incidentally is one of my very favorite in the book. I love it. That is a beautiful story. Um, but it hasn't convinced me at all that you're not Harris Burdick. There's, there's nothing there that absolves you. But for now, we'll just let you sit there. Um, because Mr. Van Alsberg himself was actually...